The following is an exclusive presentation of the NCCU Sports Network. Hello, Eagle fans. Jonathan Duran here from NCCU preseason camp, getting ready for the new season. September 3rd at Duke University. We'll have that for you right here on the NCCU Sports Network. Right now I'm with the defensive coordinator. That's Granville Eastman. Coach, thanks for joining us. Hey, pleasure to be here, Jonathan. All right, Coach, let's talk a little bit about last year. You had one of the top defenses within the MEAC. How big was that, and what did it take for you to reach that point? Well, first of all, I want to say uh, just my my my, uh, my feelings. I want to say just thankful. I'm thankful to Coach Mack and the NCCU Athletic Department for allowing me to be the defensive coordinator again to mentor these young men and captain our defense. So I'm grateful for that opportunity. Um, this year, you know, it's a new year. It's a new year, and uh, you know, we're while we're pleased with some of the uh, uh, some of the experiences and the positive things we had last year, uh, we do realize it's a new year. It's going to be a uh, a greater effort to reach the same type of success defensively and uh, to, to maybe have, you know, uh, greater, greater achievements on defense. Um, so I'm looking forward to the challenge. We're very excited. Right now we're just, we've been laying the foundation and the groundwork building this thing up. Coach, this year you have your hands on the safeties unit and you're missing C.J. Moore for this year. How big of a gap is that? Well, that's a big gap. You know, I want to say something. Uh, not only are we missing C.J. Moore, we're missing C.J. Moore, Theo Livingston, Tony Williams. Those guys bought a wealth of experience. You know, they bought some special talents. They'll be greatly missed. And, uh, you know, we certainly appreciate everything they've done for this school and this program and their time here. But moving forward, very excited about the, the, the safety crop we've got. We've got. We've got some young men that have been laying in the wing, you know, laying the weeds, kind of just waiting, biding their time. And I'm very, very encouraged. You know, Alden McClellan played a little bit last year. He's a very, you know, explosive player. Uh, he's got a lot of ability. Um, Josiah Daly is a tall, long kid, built very similar to C.J. Moore. He's got a lot of range. Let's not forget, you know, Devontae Reynolds is a, is a preseason second-team all-conference player. Had a great year for us last year as a redshirt freshman. He's back. And Jaquel Taylor, a Southeast Raleigh native, is a very talented kid. He didn't play. He played sparingly last year. And we think once we get those guys going with Ronald Conyers, again, we'll have depth and talent. Moving back to your role as a defensive coordinator, last year we were talking about the 4-2-5 as it was being implemented here in North Carolina Central. This is year two of it. How have they adapted to the system? Well, I thought, we thought they did a great job. It's continuously evolving. We're going to stay in a similar base structure. I think, you know, what uh, Coach Mack challenges all the time in the offseason to go out and learn new things from different programs. So uh, we went out, our assistant coaches on defense went out and visited with other coaches in the country, and we brought back some things that we're going to add and tweak and whatnot. So while it may not look like it's exactly the 4-2-5 of years past, there will be some similarities, but we're hoping to evolve and build on what we've done already. All right, Coach, one more thing. What are some of the things and who are some of the players that the Eagles can have their eyes on this year? Well, I think without question, <laughs> I mean, our defense is built from the front on back. You know, and uh, I have no qualms in saying that the strength of this defense is going to be in the front six, front seven guys. Right? Coach Bradley does a great job with the defensive line. He's got their full attention, and really, as they go, we'll go. So you have you have Jaquan Smith, you have Antonio Brown, Freddie Ajuda. I mean, all across the board, uh, Darius Spruill. Those guys are high-performance guys. And a linebacker crew, you know, LeGrand Harley, who redshirted last year, is ready to go. He's having a real good camp. You know, Jeremy Miles is doing it. Formerly Jerry, Jeremy Thompson is having a great, a great camp. Um, so is Jared McCarter, a young freshman, is coming on. Um, Tank O'Neill. So that front group, the linebackers and D-line, without a doubt, is the is the strength of our defense. And we can always count on Mike Jones. is a solid cover guy. He'll have a good year for us as well as a corner. All right, Coach, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you. Jonathan Durney here from NCCU Preseason Camp. Thank you very much for joining us. We'll be have more for you right here from the NCCU Sports Network. This has been an exclusive presentation of the NCCU Sports Network.